one of the classic third round affairs. They are on the biggest step in the air, heading it forward, and James McFadden making his first start in his second. Rested and on the bench, Victor Nietzsche be beaten to it in the air. Follow back the shot, brings it back onto his left foot and still strikes towards goal. Took a deflection and will be another corner kick. Level. Patterson's under this one, but Distan is in charge. Tamworth players win it back, and every time they win it back, there is a huge roar from the travelling fans. Courtney struck this with Gay for Anichibi. McFadden just ahead of Billy Aletinov. And it's guided all the way back by Patrick Kanyuka, who finds short take there, but the referee letting play continue. Anichibi here trying to take on Kanyuka. Anichibi down the left hand side is challenged well in the end. Feel their way into this game. And with the half-hour mark gone, this is by far their best spell of the game so far. Collis striking it long. He just missed and kicked that one, though. And Yucca mops up. Christie here tries to control it with his knee, but pushing back. And again, they show there that they're able to keep the Blues at bay. Nothing doing from the referee. Victor and each of you here giving chase. Shoulder to shoulder with the defender. And the defender goes down and... The referee blows his whistle for a free kick. Victor Anichibi feels hard done by there as he went shoulder to shoulder with the Tamworth man who was struggling to keep with him. And the referee coming into the centre of attention as Kanyuka was sent to the turf and Victor Anichibi visibly dismayed by the decision. It's Barrow who crosses it in. Distan flicked it away from danger. Kanyuka on the right-hand side, beats Fellaini. Fellaini gets back well and then seems to bring him down, but the assistant, who had the perfect view, doesn't get the decision for the Tamworth man. Mano and Fellaini does well in the end. Patrick Kanyaka, the man from Congo, going down easily there. Threat, but as the second half goes on, it will be interesting to see how their fitness levels hold out. The opening half, and despite falling behind early on, they've defended well, and they have uh, kept Everton somewhat frustrated. Through this competition, have Tamworth, while well, Everton are looking to try and put them out here at the... Coleman looking left. Gay on the left-hand side tries to find Billy Aletinov, who's running forward and gets his shot away, but it's well blocked by... Kunyaka sliding in, Patrick Kunyaka with the block. And Everton with an opportunity. Top flight opposition. Gay on the left, trying to cross it in. James McFadden has just gone down and top flight opposition. Gay on the left, trying to cross it in. James McFadden has just gone down and may need some treatment. It's been given away by Tamworth though, as Fellaini finds Gay, who skips inside one and then runs into trouble in the form of Kunyaka. Neville looks up and sees Coleman calling for it on this right. Fellaini wins it back for Everton. Oh, it's a sliding challenge. The referee lets go. And it's Baines who's making the run forward on the left-hand side. Into the penalty area it goes. And Yucca clears, but it comes straight to has to kick. As Kieran St. Amy tried to close him down and put him under pressure. Billy Electinoff. And Yucca here at the back has to be careful. Dennis Strakolasi has only just come on and is full of running. Collister though Strakolasi trying to fend off Kunyaka for the free kick but the free kick has been given this tricky non-league outfit credit will be given I'm sure crossing it into the penalty area as well and Yuka can't head it out of the penalty area but he won at the second attempt Powerful header as well. Baines on the left, looking for Strakolersi who continues to run, but Njoka is there. 